What's that interesting swirl of color off in the distance? When you go walking in rural communities in the United States of America, through the farmlands, pastures, forests, swamps, and vast expanses of wilderness, chances are good that you'll eventually stumble upon patriotic citizens participating in a time-honored ritual. Members of the community are often found dancing around a maypole. They're honoring an ancient ceremony designed to help make sure they'll have a good harvest. This video is part of a series of ethnographic survey reports from the Research Division at Nice Planet. Maple dances occur everywhere farmers are concerned about maintaining the fertility of their fields. In America, our citizens are so good at maple dancing, they inspire all manner of wildlife to participate in the ceremonies too. It's common to see chickens, donkeys, camels, giraffes, mice, rhinoceroses, cows, toucans, turtles, raccoons, and armadillos dancing around the maypole. Of course, animals without hands rely on their beaks or mouths to hold on to one end of the colorful ribbon during the ceremony. These ribbons tend to wear out sooner than ones held by human hands because of the animal's sharp teeth and beaks. But no worries, the people in charge, as selected by the government, are ready to repair the maypole ribbons as soon as they start to show signs of damage. This preparedness during fertility rites is similar to how high school prom parental chaperones keep a supply of extra inflated party balloons in case too many of them drop and pop before the prom king and queen are crowned. Animal participation in maypole rituals makes a lot of sense. When you consider that the fertility rites help ensure that the animals will get enough food to eat, at least until it's time for the farmer to slaughter them for meat. When farmers aren't performing maintenance on their tractors or analyzing satellite imagery to fine tune their planting schedules, they make a point of verifying how many people will be coming to their pasture to perform a maple dance at the next event. That way they can plan ahead and make sure there will be plenty of food and drink for their guests during the maple dance ceremony. And of course, the more efficient and beautiful their dancing is, the more likely it is that crops will be plentiful during the next harvest which means the farmers will be able to put out another enormous banquet of delicious dishes at future maypole dance parties. Members of the community are quite aware that their wild gyrations around the maypole may not always result in a bumper crop. Climate change or terrorism might result in substandard crop yields. And there is always the looming threat of sudden ignorance playing havoc with how farmers adjust their harvesting protocols. Causes include mutated brain viruses and exhaustion after falling under the influence of St. Vitus dance ergot intoxication. Accordingly, the government recommends that farming communities keep at least two years of food stored safely away from tornadoes, tsunamis, and triskaidekaphobia, which is an irrational fear of the number 13. If you've participated in a recent maypole dance, tell us about your experience in the comments section. 
And if you enjoyed this report, consider sharing it with like-minded friends. Subscribe to Nice Planet to make sure that you see each new video. Thanks for watching.